Here you can see a plant that just has opened up in the last few days, the, the head, the bloom. And you got the yellow petals. And here you can start to see the pollen and, and where it's starting to open up for uh, fertilization of the individual flowers. It started with flowers about three years ago. And they, they've worked very well. They're, they're more suited for our hot, dry climate. Your individual seeds, they kind of have a, at least on most of the ones we've grown, have a purple tint to them. So they crush these to get the oil is where most of the value is and the remainder is fed to animals because there's still some feed value after the oil is extracted. But you can see in this flower where we got full development here on the outside and as you go to the middle you don't see the seeds yet. They're just now not uncommon on a, any given afternoon, late in the afternoon for there to be four or five cars sitting in the edge of the field on the interstate with people out taking pictures. One of the biggest problems we've seen is people actually cut the heads off and take them. But at the same time, there's a good part of that, and that's we hope that it helps people realize that food doesn't come from Walmart or one of Costco or one of these big chains, that the food is actually grown here at, on farms by families, and that it's a, a way of living for a lot of people.